What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Look at this beautiful day today. Sun's shining really good. And I think I'm ready to start degreasing and start painting this engine block. Just a little bit of water up here from all the rain. It was raining really bad all these days. And today it's supposed to be like 70 degrees. But it's gonna rain through the whole week again. I was looking at the at the thing on my phone with the weather. I'm gonna show you guys right now. So this is like the main reason why I haven't been doing videos all this damn rain. So let me it's a little bit brighter. Look at this right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on, let me take off my sunglasses so I know I can't see it yeah it's kind of hard to see but Monday it's supposed to rain Tuesday it's gonna be cloudy Wednesday rain Thursday rain it's ridiculous all oh, this rain but either way, today's the only day that that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I got some brake parts cleaner right here and i'm just gonna spray it around and try to loosen up any kind of dirt or anything before i lay the other stuff down um, i'm gonna use this all over the the block even on the inside under here and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna rotate it and spray and spray on the inside spray on the other side and this stuff evaporates pretty fast and then i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill up this bottle with some purple power and the purple power I'm only gonna use it on the outside of the engine block I'm not gonna let the, the purple power get on the inside or anything like that because that purple power is pretty strong it's some strong stuff especially that one that was a concentrated one so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that All right, so the brake part's cleaner. It's almost evaporated. You guys can see how it's starting to look. Still a little bit wet in some spots. But it's almost, it's almost completely dry. So I went ahead and I filled this up with some purple power. And I think I'm just gonna lay a coat over this and then I'm gonna go over it with a little brush. And hit all these little spots. And then after that, we'll do the other side. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna do this side and this side. But then after that, we're gonna tape everything and we're gonna lay down some paint on there. All 
All right, for the back of the block, I think this is the best that I'm gonna do for now. I mean, this is the back of the block, so it's not like anybody's gonna really see this, but I scrubbed it as much as I could. I rinsed it and then I scrubbed it again. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it and then I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner to dry everything up. All right, so everything sprayed down with brake cleaner. This is the back. This is the front. So we're gonna let this dry up and see what it looks like. All right, so while we wait for this to completely dry up, we're gonna go ahead and I don't know if you guys can see, this is all bare metal, this whole edging right here on my exhaust manifold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brake clean it. And then after I brake clean it, we're gonna go ahead and tape this off right here. Tape this off right here. Tape the bottom right here. And basically we're gonna paint this with some high temperature paint. And I know this is brand new and also that there might be some particles on there from the warehouse where it was at. That's the reason why I'm brake cleaning it before I do anything to it. All right, so I think that I'm not gonna put any tape on here, on here or on here because of the fact that there's gonna be so much heat going through that exhaust manifold that it's just gonna melt it right off. That's what I think. I don't know if it's true, but that's the way that I'm doing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay some paint down. All right, so I've never used this stuff before. This is a high heat paint. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some coats. Let me get this lawnmower out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna lay some coats down and flip her upside down and lay some more coats. And basically I'm doing this to protect the exhaust manifolds from rusting on me. So I know these, these exhaust manifolds will rust pretty bad, pretty quick. So hopefully this protects it. All right, so I went ahead and I did the other side underneath and I just flipped it and I laid a coat right now on here and look how fast this is drying. You can see all the spots that are like dry and it's been like less than a minute. It's 70 degrees outside, so maybe that's why it's drying so fast. This is the second coat. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and 
probably use up this whole can. Lay three coats down. You can see all the surface again. Look how fast it's drying. Yeah, so as soon as this dries up some more, I'm gonna go ahead and flip her, lay another coat underneath, and then lay another one on top. All right, so this is gonna be the third coat of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. All right, so that was my third coat. This stuff dries very fast. It says on here that after it all dries up, that I gotta bake it for 30 minutes at 250 degrees or something. Yeah, 250 degrees for 30 minutes. Then bake it at 400 for 30 minutes. And then bake it at 600 for 30 more minutes. Yeah, there's no way I could bake this. Um, I'm not gonna throw this in my oven, of course. Cause that's where we cook food and everything. So I'm not baking this. The D16, once it's assembled, it could bake it for me. So I'm not baking it. All right, so this is the clear that I'm gonna be using. High heat clear. Basically, as soon as this dries up, you can see how fast it's drying, like I said before. You can see all the wet spots. And the sun is, it's so strong right now that it's baking it really fast. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I'm gonna start taping the other, the other one I'm gonna paint, the engine block. I'm gonna start taping it. I'm gonna tape all this and maybe the sides. Tape this right here. Put something right here, right here. Um, and then we'll start painting that. All right, so I went ahead and I laid some tape on top. I was gonna go ahead and trim everything really good, but I figured that I could just spray through here and I would be able to hit all this, the spots right there. So why am I gonna waste time cutting all that, trimming it all down? I put a paper towel in here. I put a paper towel right here. I threw my old uh, oil filter on here. Um, and the same thing goes to this side. If I come down here, I'm able to spray all that. So there's no reason for me to waste time doing that. So I think this is ready, that I might be able to lay the first coat right now. Let me go ahead and put this little pin in here. All right, the exhaust manifold is ready for the clear. I think I'm gonna wait, cause this is the only can of clear that I have. And I'm thinking if I go ahead and start spraying, that it's so hot outside that it's gonna clog up my my tip so maybe i should wait till this is painted and then lay clear coat on both at the same time so i'm gonna go get the paint it's inside the house and bring it out here and i'm gonna paint that engine block All right, this is the first coat. It's very, very thin when I laid down. And look how good it looks. I was not expecting this, this block to look like that. It already looks great. I still wanna lay two more coats. I wanna lay a, a pretty heavy one. But look at this. I really like it. I'm excited. It looks really good. The back 
the back doesn't look as good as the front side. But man, it looks way better than what it was. I really like it. Let's go ahead and lay the second coat. Wait a few minutes and lay the second coat. All right, so I didn't record the next coat of paint because the battery on my GoPro is kind of low. I'm at 33%, I believe. Let me see, 34%. So I'm trying to save the battery to try to finish this job. So this side has three coats. This side has three coats, but look at how nice it looks already. This looks really nice. I really recommend this paint. This is by Rustoleum. So this is the clear that we're gonna be laying. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on this first over here, the exhaust manifold. And then afterwards, we'll make our way to the engine. Yeah, I love the way this thing turned out. Looks amazing. All right, so everything has a coat of paint, actually two, two coats of clear right now. You guys can see how shiny that looks. And this isn't supposed to be a gloss clear. The can just says clear on it, high heat clear. Look how glossy this looks. It looks like it's wet but it doesn't feel like it's wet. So it is gonna stay that glossy, I believe. Unless if something happens when it's uh, in the car, maybe when it bakes, it'll be flat again. But right now it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these tapes. The tapes are off. I took off all the tape from here, I took off the tape that I had in there, paper towel, paper towel in here, paper towel in there. I took off the filter. And I'm telling you, these are amazing results from these cans. Let me show you the exhaust manifold one more time. All right, so my camera's pretty low on battery. Um, I'm gonna let this sit out here for about an hour, hour and a half. Then I'm gonna take it inside, put it away. And the engine block, I think I'm gonna let it sit out here till tonight. And then tonight, after a few hours have gone by, I'm gonna go ahead, wrap it up with some plastic, because I know the rain's coming, and just let it sit out here because of the fact that I don't want the house smelling like fumes. We're gonna let that vent out uh, slowly throughout the next few days. Um, I did get this in the mail. This is the thing I was showing you guys last time that I had ordered. I finally got it in the mail. This is the adapter for the oil pan. Here, let me set the camera down. All right, so this is the adapter for the oil pan for my return line. Basically, if you guys have never seen this, I'm gonna show you real quick. So, you drill a hole in your oil pan for your return, exactly where you want it. You drill it to this size. I'm not sure what size this is, but we'll find out. Um, then you put this, these two washers, they have a gasket. So you put the first washer in, you put this through the oil pan, so then you sandwich the oil pan with these washers. They have the gasket in there, the rubber gasket. And then you go ahead and you put this on there and you tighten it all down. 
and there's no need for welding. I'm gonna show you guys the part number. 315-04301-010. And there's the website right there. But you could also order this off eBay, which is what I did. I just wanna... So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And I think this is going to be the end of the video. I'll, I'm going to... Oh, before uh, I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and order my rods. I'm going to show you guys which rods I have chosen. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, you guys. So these are the rods that I'm going to order. They're from Skunk 2 Racing. They're rated at 900 horsepower. In order to get these rods into the... The block we're gonna have to notch the cylinders and we're gonna have to notch the girdle so it doesn't hit we will be doing that in a future video as soon as we get these in the mail um, you guys can go to the website if you guys are interested in purchasing these for future build like I said these are rated at 900 so we should be golden on these and I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video because my camera is about to die. I did want to buy the no notch rods, but for some reason they're out of stock. I've been watching them for a while. They've been out of stock for weeks and weeks. Um, according to the website, the no notch rods will just drop in and you use assemble everything. But unfortunately, they're they're behind weeks and weeks i went to different websites i tried to find them i couldn't locate them anywhere that's why i ended up going with these skunk 2 rods so i think this is going to be the video right here and i will catch you guys on my next video i'm always trying to record as soon as i get some free time or as soon as i get parts in the mail or anything i'm going to continue recording that's something that i enjoy doing i like doing these videos so I will go ahead and call it here catch you guys on the next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later